welcome to ETF Leaders, powered by the New York Stock Exchange. Joining me today is Mike Lucas. He is Chief Investment Officer at Trumark. Mike, great to see you. Thanks for joining me. It's great to see you, Judy. Thank you. So, Mike, tell me, how will active management help to navigate anticipated market volatility, Fed policies, inflation, and the Ukraine conflict this year? All the fun stuff, right? I know. I mean, you know, the thing about active management, and depending on your approach, obviously, is that inefficiencies in the market can be beneficial. Uh, the way we look at it at Truemark and TrueShares is to stick with our investment strategy, stay the course, block out the noise. So what you're seeing is a lot of macro factors that are you know, creating the volatility, the uncertainty, lack of visibility. We are more traditional in our fundamental approach to why we buy companies, why we buy stocks, and we like to, you know, we'll, we'll check in and make sure that these macro factors aren't damaging our investment thesis. But by and large, you know, we buy companies, not, not buzzwords or trends, and we want to hold on to those companies through this type of noise. At, at the very least, it might be opportunity uh, for good companies to uh, create entry points here. Okay, so speaking of opportunities, what do you think are the biggest market opportunities right now? Well, I think secular growth. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a bit of a contrarian approach right now. I think people are more obsessed with volatility and, and uh, certainly negating some of the uncertainties in the marketplace. But when there is this much noise, and you see growth get beaten up like it has, there are massive opportunities in the secular growth side. And certainly, I think in tech, uh, you know, the SaaS companies have been unfairly beaten up when we see things like uh, you know, the budgets of, of most companies we've studied, and I think a few firms have come out with their predictions for, for 2022, have increased their tech spending, increase their, their software as a service provider spending on things like cyber, things like uh, communication protocols. So we're seeing a huge spike in spending on that side of things, and the B2B side of things. And those companies have been unfairly punished, I think, because of macro events. So I think there's a real opportunity in the secular growth side. Okay, and how should we be thinking about thematic opportunities? Well, you know, I mentioned it a second ago, but for us, it's always buzzwords versus business models. You know, there are great buzzwords out there. Disruption's one of them we hear all the time. And I always joke with some of my PMs, I can stand out in the street and disrupt traffic. Doesn't mean I'm gonna make money doing it. Uh, so you have to look for companies that not only are in areas that can harness uh, disruptive tech or harness changes in the, the economy as we, we move into what we consider sort of a new economic paradigm, but they have to have solid business models. You have to see accelerating fundamentals. You have to see the ability to run a business, to capitalize an opportunity, and to utilize their intrinsic uh, you know, IP or competitive advantage and monetize that. So we often forget the back half of that equation. We look for cool new things that seem disruptive, but they've got to be a real business. They've got to be a company that has fundamentals that can support that investment. Okay, Mike, thank you so much for joining me. And that's ETF Leaders, powered by the New York Stock Exchange.